Jake Bainter was very young when he was involved in a lawnmower accident. His parents decided to try to save his leg, but after 15 surgeries, the family came to the difficult decision to amputate. What could have been a traumatic experience turned out to be a life-defining one. Nightside's Bobby Lewis is on the road in Orlando where a young man is on a journey to help others thanks to a stranger he met and lost along the way. Hey guys, just a quick hello to see how all y'all are doing. Most teenagers spend a lot of time texting. How's my buddy Jake? Send me pics. Jake Bainter isn't that kind of kid, asking. but some texts are too special. Thinking of you all the time, love Boston Bill. To delete. You thought you were good looking? I guess, <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's kind of a fun one. Likewise, there are just some photos oh that can never be lost either. Up. Look at it there. <laughs> Jody Bainter cherishes these shots of Jake as a little boy. Nine. 10, maybe 11 there. A shorter kid with much shorter hair. He does have a tender smile. Dozens of photos, yeah. many that include that special that. texter. I like this one too. In the frame. I miss getting those texts a lot. They meant a lot, always brought me day. I personally have never seen him without his bike garb on. I mean, the folks at St. Pete Lim Brace knew Bill Hansbury by his nickname. Boston Bill. He was just a great example and a super motivator and he got people back up and moving. A man whose bike happened to break down at just the right time. That day was February 8, 2008. It was the day of Jake's amputation. We were on our way to the hospital in St. Pete, all children's, and we turned the corner and Bill was standing on the side of the road and Jake was in the back seat. And he said, that guy's an amputee. I think Bill was a little shocked when we got out. He didn't really know what to think. We just said, hey, I'm gonna go get my leg amputated today. And uh, he just gathered some special words and just said that everything's gonna be all right. You can't plan that. So it was a bike malfunction at just the right time. That's exactly right. It was a bike malfunction at the right time. Bill rode his bicycle 20 miles every single day and never before had it broken down until that morning at that intersection. But the Bainters were so happy that it did. They pulled over the car and they exchanged phone numbers. They even decided to snap a quick photo. It was a moment that changed everyone's life. The next day, the 70-year-old went over to the hospital to visit his new 7-year-old buddy. It was the beginning of a mentorship that looked a lot more like a friendship. He always came to a lot of my my um, prosthetic visits and he, uh, especially my first one, he walked me through that. For some reason, he was always as nice as could be to me. He was like a grandfather. He's part of the family, honestly. Makes me kind of emotional. He was put there for us at that moment for what we needed. I feel like he was kind of hope in the flesh. And um, when he passed, it felt a little vacant. Boston Bill died in his sleep December 8th, 2018. Jake's mentor, was gone. Honestly, I didn't really know how to react. It was kind of shocking. And it was really sad, to be honest with you, knowing that I never am going to be able to get on the phone with him again or get his little warm, fuzzy text every once in a while. The kid who learned so much from the man with the prosthetic leg made a vow to walk in Bill's shoes. So this is Katie. She's 10. We'll go hang out with her while she gets her legs. And she's one of my favorites. And not just Katie. Jake now mentors Hunter and Jack and dozens more kids with prosthetics. Kids who look a lot like Jake. And they look at him and he says, I'm okay, you're gonna be fine. It's actually very cool. I think I owe it to Boston Bill because he was so passionate about helping kids and he instilled that in my, in my uh, life. I'm just thankful for what he brought to my life and I know I'm gonna try to live up to how great of a guy he was every day. Boston Bill is gone, but Orlando Jake is here, ready and willing to carry on his mentor's mission, one limb at a time. He left a footprint on Jake. For us, our faith is strong, and um, there's no other explanation than, you know, it was a bit of a divine appointment.